Good morning, everyone. Uh, I am Parker Flickinger. I am the Community Engagement and Marketing Coordinator Vista for Lahontan Audubon Society. And today we're going out on a big adventure. We are going to attempt the eBird November Birding Challenge, where we will be uh, going birding at uh, three of our local parks to get a bird list. Uh, I am here right now uh, in front of the Wilbur D. May Museum, which is, as you know, in Rancho San Rafael Park. It's a beautiful day and a cool morning, so we're gonna go out and enjoy the birds and have an adventure. I brought along my camera to record it. Of course, today I will be joined by my trusty volunteer, uh, Kath Giel. Uh, she'll be out birding with me, and we will be sharing the camera duties right now. Uh, and already we can see some birds. Uh, if you look over here, we've got a, a resident flock of Canada geese. Uh, and uh, if you can hear up in the trees, there are some mountain chickadees and a common raven as well exploring the uh, park. Uh, it is named, uh, if you know, uh, this arboretum is named after the aviator and philanthropist uh, Wilbur D. May. Uh, we have, uh, in addition to all the birds, there are plenty of uh, exotic trees uh, and other plants and flowers that are uh, grow here uh, year-round. It is uh, uh, carefully and meticulously maintained by the Washoe County Parks Department. Uh, and uh, if you ever get out here, uh, you can explore the birds and also the diverse plants we have here. So we all at La Hotte and Audubon highly recommend the Wilbur D. May Center. just at the Lawler Station bus stop. And uh, if you look over there, you can see the Lawler Pavilion at UNR. Uh, you can hear the traffic uh, driving by me. And uh, why I'm pointing this Lawler Station out is this is the bus stop if you use our birding by bus program, where uh, if you want to go birding at Rancho San Rafael Park, you get off here and you walk up over these ways, uh, and it's not far at all to get to the park. Uh, it's a great experience and it's one we all highly recommend uh, using birding by bus. Now here we are back at Virginia Lake. Uh, as you saw earlier, this uh, lake is accessible by the birding by bus stop. Uh, it's uh, starting to clear up right now and get warmer and uh, we're hoping to explore Virginia Lake and hopefully see some more of the waterfowl and uh, seagulls and other uh, songbirds that may be hanging out here. As you can see here, we brought a spotting scope along with us and uh, that'll give us uh, another uh, bigger zoom and hopefully a clear view of some of the birds that are out in the middle of the lake.
so I'm here at the far end of the lake right now. Uh, as you can see behind me, we've got a big group of uh, mallard ducks and a couple Canada geese as well. Uh, they're hanging around, and if you look down here, we've got a nice uh, view down of Virginia Lake. Uh, as you can see, uh, all the birds are hanging around, foraging and having fun. Uh, even on a cold, cloudy day like this, the birds are here. Right now, I am here at the main 4th Street station of the Reno Transit Commission. This is where all the buses are. Uh, um, yeah, you've probably seen the big bus statue that uh, I got some shots earlier. And we love supporting RTC, uh, using our community, and uh, going around and finding the beautiful parks and seeing the birds. We are all about that and supporting it and uh, helping you find out your opportunities here. Okay, uh, now you can see behind me, here is the Truckee River, and uh, that is Wingfield Park, uh, which was the last park on uh, our list of parks we surveyed today. Uh, we had a wonderful time uh, and a big adventure exploring all the parks in our Reno community uh, and seeing all the different birds that uh, we currently had there. Some were familiar faces and some were unexpected surprises. Uh, as we mentioned before, we have our birding by bus map online, uh, which is free and available. So you yourself can go on your own birding adventures, uh, just going around exploring your neighborhoods or utilizing the Reno Transit Commission buses or not. However you choose, uh, all of us at the Haunted Audubon Society wish you the best, a happy Thanksgiving holiday, and wonderful adventures ahead.